It has been a little while since I've done some uh, reviews, but anyway, what I wanted to show you on this particular video, I want to show you the uh, um, different some of the different boxes I have and how they run with the uh, uh, HD Home Run DVR software. And again, I'm using the over the air, so I'm not using any DRM channels. Now, the first one I'll show you is the, and this is what I'm running right now on this display, is a Remix Mini right here, Remix Mini OS. But this is the box I have, and that was one of my Kickstarter project boxes, so I've got that one, and that's what I'm running on right now. And the next one I'll show you is how that uh, HD Home Run plays on this uh, Minix, Minix Neo X8H Plus, and that's the next one I have. And then the Nexus Player, everybody's familiar with the Nexus Player. But anyway, I will show you um, that one. I was lucky I picked that one up for uh, $25. Somebody on the forum said that, they, that uh, Walmart was having a um, clearance home. And I, after three Walmarts, I found one. But anyway, uh, that is a very good place. The next one I'll show you is my Tronsmart R68 Beta. Now that one plays pretty good too. Now one thing that this one does do, and it's a rock chip, uh, C, uh, SOC, which I'm not overly fond of rock chip anymore, but that one does play in HD audio. Not for your TV streaming, but uh, if you have some Blu-ray rips, it plays the uh, HD audio, uh, in addition to the uh, video plays very well. And then the last one I'll show you, which you've seen already, is my Transmart Aura X5, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you. All right, now, so I will, again, I'm using the Remix. And Remix is a combination of Windows, Linux, and Android. So it's Windows, you can window with everything, which is good. I like that probably more than Android, but those that are not familiar with the Remix OS, uh, you will hear more and more about it because they, they're porting it to many different devices, uh, including Windows machines. So uh, you will hear a lot about that as time progresses. But anyway, let's get on. Okay, what I want to show you is this View app. And again, it, it, video-wise, it plays very well, but I have no sound because <laughs> I used to. But within the last update or two, uh, they killed the sound on it. And I'm going through my DVR, or excuse me, my uh, AV, Denon AVR, audio video receiver. Uh, it's a fairly new one. But anyway, it used to work on it, now it doesn't. But it does work using the TV. So, uh, that'd be enough. Okay, now what I want to show you is, okay, how long it takes to go from here to actually go into the recording menu. So I'll press the escape button. I hope I'm not boring you. Escape, okay, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Anyway, this one takes approximately uh, 18 seconds to get to that screen. And as you notice, I'm running it in full screen, and I can get, I can get to the bottom men menu if I so desire, but I'm gonna bring it back to the window version. But anyway, it takes about, like I said, it takes about 18 seconds to, to get to this menu. And if I wanted to delete that, well, anyway, bounce back. But uh, normally I use a mouse, but I've got my mice on other boxes. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you. Uh, how long it took to get to that menu. And I'll try to show you about the deleting it. Okay, apparently we got a little problem on this particular box. Okay, now moving on to the next box, I'm going to go to the Going to the Minix box. Okay, 
Yeah, let me show you. Okay. Uh, now this one is running Android 4.4. Four point four two, I should say. Four point four two Android version and model Neo X eight H plus. Okay, but anyway. The view app. This is the one that's got the DVR. Now this particular one is using the AmLogic S812 uh, SOC, system on a chip. And the video does not play very well on this one. So I give this one probably a 5 out of 10 for its video, video quality. So this one does not play very well. But in the Cody version or the other version, yes, it, worked. it plays very well also. But anyway, the view does not play very well, it's too jerky. But I was going to show you here how long it takes to get from to the recorded menu. And this one takes about 13 to 15 seconds. Now, when I click on the delete button, the little garbage can, I can delete it, I can re-delete it and re-record it or cancel it. So if I delete it, I can re-record it. So let me re-record it. Okay, it just deleted it. So, but that's what I was going to show you. Uh, the live channels. Again, it, it doesn't play very good. So you do, would not want to uh, buy this box for that. Okay, so moving along to the next one. And the next one I'm going to show you is the the Nexus player. Now I think everybody bases the standards on the Nexus player. Oh, excuse me. And this is the one we want right here. Okay, the video quality Plays very well. Joel stimulating step insoles. They massage key pressure points with each step for all day comfort that keeps you feeling more energized. It's got skills. Again, that's Joel what stimulating one, step insoles. And that is the, uh, your brain changes as you get older, oh. but Prevagen helps your brain with an ingredient originally discovered in jellyfish. In clinical trials, Prevagen has been shown to improve short term memory. That one plays in Dolby Digital. I don't know why, but some people say, well, I don't play Dolby Digital. But yes, on this particular box, using my HD channels, and this one channel is 4.1, which is 1080i, the interlaced channel. But it does play, and it plays in, 10, it plays in Dolby Digital. Okay, now let's go and see how long it takes to get to that other menu. When I measured it before, it took approximately eight seconds to go to the recorded menu, which is pretty doggone good. Uh, but anyway, using the included mouse that comes with it, or air mouse, whatever you're going to call it, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. But anyway, that was one of the things I was going to show you. Now, going back to the Other one, this is the R68. Uh, now this one, for whatever reason, it takes about a half a minute or 15, 15 seconds to uh, to catch up or buffer, then it starts playing well, but the first first half a minute, uh, it doesn't play very well. But once it once it uh, buffers out or whatever it does, then it starts playing well. But again, this one uh, is only stereo, only the uh, 
so far the only the uh, Nexus player is the one that plays in Adobe Digital. So that's what I was going to show you. Now let me uh, again see how long it takes to get to the menu. Now this one, this one doesn't take, shouldn't take very long. The last time I checked it, it was five seconds. This was the fastest one I had loaded. So this one is, in particular is taking uh, a little bit longer. So anyway, that was what I was going to show you. Now the next one I will, I'm going to show you is the, uh, let me get out of this one. Well, I've only got two tuners. The next one I'm going to show you is the TronSmart. <laughs> okay, now we're at the TronSmart Aura X5, and this is a, a Windows uh, 10. And this one, I think, cost me about $140, $135. But anyway, okay, I'll show you this one. But we have, from private residences okay, to shepherd quality areas and is excellent. Care. The continuum of care at Henry Ford Village is far from typical. Visit henryfordvillage.com and see for yourself. The audio, Village, you I'm it. pretty sure it is uh, We're no a digital surround. We are Salute Denver. But they call it multi-channel. And anyway, if you look down there, it shows the speakers are all, they're all active. So, it is playing no be digital. Again, what I wanted to show you was the time it takes to get to the um, Now last time it took me about 15 seconds to get to the recorded menu. Again, I see uh, uh, the little garbage can that uh, you can choose whether you want to delete it, re-record it, or cancel it. Now I must say that um, it takes a little while to bring up the recorded uh, shows, but uh, I really didn't count them, but I've got quite a few. I've got quite a few. I would say several hundred, so that's why it takes us so long to get to the recorded menu. But in summation, I would say, and this is just some of my boxes that I've gotten. <laughs> I got more of it. This is all that I can hook up to my receiver. But anyway, um, and I got another one coming here soon. I'll be demonstrating that one. Um, but in summation, this is the little box here, this Windows 10 box, which is an Intel uh, Cherry Trail CPU. Uh, this is probably by far the best box I have, far superior to those. I do not have an NVIDIA Shield to compare with, and I never will get an NVIDIA Shield. But anyway, uh, comparison-wise, this, this place, everything I throw at it, absolutely everything. The only thing it does not do is bitstream the HD audio, the high-definition audio. It plays Adobe Digital and that, but it does not play the HD audio. Uh, it can uh, bitstream it. But it can play them uh, in the other format. Okay, but anyway, that's what I was wanting to show you there. So anyway, I hope that helped a little bit in showing the uh, capabilities of the different uh, boxes I have, Android and this little uh, Windows 10 box. But again, this little Windows 10 box is far superior to the other ones. Okay, thank you.